Now I made this small box in a previous tutorial and it's made of two components which you can see here in the component window, comp1 and comp2. Now just because these are components doesn't mean that I can no longer edit them. So for example if I want my box to be taller then I can just simply edit the components that the box is made of and you do that by just double clicking. So I'm going to double click on this and you see when I double click this kind of dotted box appears around the component and also everything else in the drawing kind of goes grey. So once I'm actually inside my component I can then actually make changes to the component. So for example if I want to make it taller I can just do this and what you'll notice now is that the other component over the other side is also getting taller and that's because the two sides of the box are made of two copies of the same component. So whatever I do to this component will also happen to the other component. Say for example I want to make it that little bit taller. What I then need to do is choose the select tool and click outside. So then if I want to make the other sides equally tall I can double click, use the push pull tool and pull them up to the same height. Now if I go across and then I touch the other component as I'm pulling up it'll make them automatically the same height. Click on the select tool, click once outside and then I'm back out of my component. I can also do more complex things if I want. So for example if I wanted to make a square shaped hole inside this component I can then use the push pull tool to push that through and there I have my hole and it's also appeared in the other component as you see. If I wanted to I could also take the push pull tool, extend just here, draw an arc using the guidelines to help and then I could use the push pull tool again to push through and make a curve on the edge of my product. So you see there's lots and lots of things you can do and using components not only keeps your product in separate pieces but also saves you a lot of work in the sense that you only have to do your edits once and then they appear on your other components.